Before we can start investing, we first need to know what investing means and what you can invest in. So in this video, I'm going to break down what investing is and what assets are. There are tons of things that you can invest in. Stocks, art, real estate, gold, even Lego sets. The thing is though, just because somebody has told you that they've made an investment doesn't necessarily mean that it was a smart financial decision. There are lots of risky things that people put their money into just hoping for a quick payout. To me, I don't really consider that to be investing. It's pretty much just gambling with your money. And that's why it's important to know what investing actually is. In its simplest form, investing is an action you can take with your money to make it grow in value. When it comes to investing, I like to think of it as putting your money to work for you for as, with as little risk as possible for as long as possible. You can think of investing as sending your money out to work for you each day so that eventually you don't have to work again. Here is a visual example. Okay, so let's say this Lego Harry Potter minifig is you. And this Lego pawn here represents a dollar that you've invested. Eventually, that pawn is going to go to work and come back with another pawn. Those two work together and bring back two more. And over time, these four are going to continue to work for you, bringing back their own pawns as time goes. Eventually, you're going to have so many pawns, the pawns representing your money invested, that you don't have to work again because these pawns are doing all the work for you. And then you're left being a happy little minifigure who's financially free. And that's the power of compound interest growing your money over time. Investing in the right things leads to your money building and your net worth growing over time. Investing in the wrong things can lead to stress and you losing your hard-earned money. I think that a lot of people have a misconception and a fear of investing because they've heard all these crazy stories about people losing all their money. But in, actua in actuality, I think that these situations mainly happen because the person investing didn't really have the knowledge or the patience for what they were invested in. The story of the guy who invested for 15 or 20 years and retired at a young age just isn't as crazy of a headliner as the guy that lost a million dollars overnight in crypto. So we just don't hear the stories about success near as much as we hear the stories about failure. And investing is a long-term game. The longer, the better. And you don't have to just take my word for it. One of the most famous investors of our generation, Warren Buffett, the founder and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway has this to say about investing. If you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. Investing for the short term is no different than gambling with your money. The stock market goes up and down from month to month, but investing for the long term is a proven method of building wealth. If you can look at a stock market graph, five years, 10 years, or even longer, you can see that the market tends to go up and to the right. This means that it's increasing in value. Warren Buffett has been able to accumulate over $100 billion in net worth over his lifetime of investing. And he's done this by not panic selling when everyone's screaming and saying the market's crashing, but consistently investing month after month. To recap, Investing is putting your money to work for you in proven methods so that it can begin to grow in value over time. The longer your money is invested, the higher returns you can expect to get. So the second part of this equation is what you even invest in. We've already talked a little bit about stocks, but how do you know what to put your money into? You invest in assets. Wikipedia defines an asset as any resource owned or controlled by a business or an economic entity. It is anything that can be used to produce positive economic value. It covers money and other valuables belonging to an individual or to a business. 
So let's break that down a little bit. An asset is something you can invest in to build and produce economic value. A few common examples of assets that you may be familiar with are stocks, bonds, real estate, and gold. However, there are some assets that rank much higher than others in value and returns. If you have a long-term investment horizon, like me for example, I'm in my early 20s, so investing in stocks makes way more sense than for me to be investing in bonds or gold. This is because the money that I invest in the stock market now is going to grow exponentially more than my money if it was just in a government bond. But someone who is in their later half of life and is already retired may be looking just to preserve their money instead of letting it continue to grow. Bonds offer more, offer more safety but less growth. So it would make sense for an older person to invest in bonds instead of an aggressive growth stock. And when it comes to stocks, there are tons of things that you can invest in. Index funds, ETFs, mutual funds, aggressive growth, high yield dividends, and so on. I'll be covering all of these topics in other videos on the channel, so keep an eye out for those. But let's go back to assets. Some people consider their house to be an asset, and I don't agree with this. Now, I'm not saying that investing in real estate is a bad idea. I'm saying that if you only own a property that is not generating you income and is actually a liability for you, that's not an asset. An asset in the real estate world would be something like owning a duplex where you live in one side and rent the other out. The person renting is actually paying off your mortgage and you're getting to live there for free. This is a common term in the financial independence world called house hacking. I really want to make it clear that putting your money to work for you by buying assets is how you invest and build wealth over time. It seems as though some people get confused on what assets actually are. A lot of the times people seem to think that their new computer or car is an investment and sadly that's not the truth. These are just things that are going to lose value over time and consume your money. A new car loses roughly 11% of its value the minute it's purchased and driven off the lot. And it continues to lose value with every mile driven. That's a pretty poor return on investment if you ask me. And that's why I think you should always buy used cars, never buy a new car off the lot. My favorite form of investing is through the stock market. I like that it's pretty much hands off. All I have to do is invest after each paycheck and over time my money will continue to grow without me doing more work. Eventually my goal is to retire at a young age off of my investments and I hope that I can teach you how to do the same. So one last general recap. Investing is putting your money to work for you by buying assets that are proven to build wealth over time. Eventually, your assets will generate enough income or grow enough in value so that you'll be financially free and able to live every day how you choose. I hope that you've gained some new knowledge or insight from this video and that you better understand what it means to invest and what assets are. If you would like me to cover any other topics in future videos or if you have a crazy story about investing, please leave it in the comments below. I'd like to hear more. And if you're not subscribed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I've got a lot more videos and a lot more information to share with you, and we're just getting started. Until next time, let's keep this fire spreading.